Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your September 1st to the 15th, 2019, that's 2019, money and career reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out. And I'd like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude, so I want to thank you so very much. Whether you're new or old to this channel for tuning in and stopping by, it's an absolute pleasure having you here. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. I will also have a link to all the cards that I use there. So let's see now, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what September 1st to the 15th, 2019 has in store for you for money and career. September 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career, Aquarius. September 1st to the 15th, 2019, Money and Career, Aquarius. September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Money and Career, Aquarius. September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Money and Career, Aquarius. September 1st to the 15th, 2019. Money and Career, Aquarius. Show me clearly, 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 at the center of everything, Aquarius, is the Six of Swords. You are leaving something behind. You are moving forward with knowledge. You are, are going after things. You are an air sign. You're represented by the Swords in the Minor Arcana. You're represented by the Star in the Major Arcana. You are here as the Knight of Swords. You are your own White Knight, which I love. And if you want to see this as a White Knight coming in, then that's fantastic. But I do see this as you going after things, solving things, charging forward. You have the Queen of Cups here, love guiding you. You have a gift of prosperity coming into your life. The Magician right here, as above, so below. As you believe, so it becomes. The Emperor, strength, determination. This is an Aries energy, a time frame of March 21st to April 19th. The Eight of Cups, you're, there's an ending here. There's an ending that has been a long time coming. You have the Page of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So I don't have you yet taking this gift of the Ace of Pentacles, but it's permeating this whole entire reading. You know that there's more out there for you. You know that there is a gift of prosperity coming into your life and moving you forward. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aquarius, September 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. Aquarius, September 1st to the 15th, 2019, money and career. Aquarius, show me clearly, show me clearly. Communication. This one right here. And rejuvenation. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Aquarius, September 1st to the 15th. 2019 money and career Aquarius show me clearly 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 imagination ooh two okay relaxation and meditation so connecting with your mind connecting with your heart connecting with yourself is going to be highly highly beneficial for you during the first half of September Aquarius so we're starting off with imagination and this says, imagination intrigues the soul and illuminates the heart. It is, it's time to, it's time to get creative. It's time to embrace your creativity. It's also time to listen to your inner self, to where it is that you want to be and what it is that you desire, what it is that you see in your mind's eye for yourself. That is going to lead you forward. Now, the color that shines through here is purple. That's healing and cleansing the crown chakra. Then we have relaxation. Stop the world from spinning by partaking in well-deserved moments of relaxation. Breathe. Breathe and let yourself have time, even if it's for five deep breaths. And I love it. I know I've been saying it all the time. You guys are probably tired of hearing it. Mel Robbins' technique of five, four, three, two, one. And then going. Going and doing. Five, four, three, two, one. Just breathe. Just breathe. Just take that time for yourself. That five, four, three, two, one helps clear the mind center the soul, and blast you off to the next level. Five breaths, 
if you can have time for five breaths, that's all I'm talking about here. And then if you can have 30 seconds, that's even better. A whole minute, my gosh. Five minutes, you're on fire. But embrace time for relaxation. Embrace time to connect with you. Or doing something that's relaxing. And not saying, oh no, I don't have time for it. Or I'm putting it off to tomorrow. Doing things that are relaxing is going to be highly beneficial for you. The color that shines through here is blue. That's healing and cleansing the throat chakra. Then we have meditation. Meditation will transport you to a place of bliss at any desired time of day. That's just like relaxation. But here it is just like relaxation, just having that time to relax. It's here as meditation. There's a sense of connecting with your bliss. It transports you from your world of chaos. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, breathe. It is so important for you. It will increase your productivity. It will increase your, your wealth, okay? By increasing your productivity, it will help you move forward and it will help you get out of ruts because a lot of you Aquariuses are making a severe shift that is moving you towards what you love and that is setting you, see, setting you free. It can be a shift of the mind. It can be a shift of the heart because you have both here the six and the eight. You have the six of swords and the eight of cups. It can be that you're leaving something behind, but it's a change that's going to move you forward in a really great way. Then we have communication. The sharing of insights and ideas are embodied through the art of communication. Communicate what it is that you want with yourself, with your soul. Communicating with other people, yes, that's important too, but I really see it as open communi communication with you. Then we have rejuvenation. Rejuvenating the spirit will spark the desire to experience the greatness of life. There is more out there. By rejuvenating your spirit, by cleansing yourself, by moving forward, you embrace it. We have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Swords at your heart. So, this is intense because this is doubts and fears. This is feeling trapped. This is feeling stuck. You could feel like you're stuck in a dead-end job. You can feel like your life is like Groundhog's Day, that movie, where you wake up and it's a different day, but same day. Same thing every single day. Feeling trapped, feeling overwhelmed, questioning whether it will end or will it just stay like this forever. With the Six of Swords, you're taking all your knowledge and all your ideas, and you are moving forward. This can just be within your own mind. It doesn't mean that you have to make any huge shift, any huge change, but it does mean that you're changing things for you. You can stay in the same job. You don't have to, you know, leave. You can stay in the same life, but mentally you're looking at things differently for, because for me, the, the swords represent the mind. So you're looking at things differently. You're moving forward. The angels are blessing you. You have here times where you're going to just think, what the heck am I doing? But you'll have also times of feeling strong and brave and absolutely assured of yourself. You have a repeat of number eight. This is going to be a very serious time for you. Okay, the first half of September, you're taking everything very seriously. What I'm seeing within the cards, you might very well be taking it a little bit too seriously. Ease up on yourself. It's okay. It is okay to not have to have everything done just a certain way. You want, you want things done yesterday. The Knight of Swords is charging forward. It's going after what you want. It's embracing your prosperity. It's, you know, cutting through doubts and fears. It's being that hero for yourself, which is amazing. But you're also putting a lot of pressure on you. You're still learning. You're still understanding. You have, you're going through both these roles. And as soon as you accept that, you're going to feel a lot better because the page of swords is being that student, is taking in the messages from spirit, 
It's being that student of what it is that you want, being that student of where it is that you want to be. It's learning, it's understanding, it's embracing new ideas because know that your mind is brilliant and you're embracing that brilliance and you're charging forward with that knowledge. But you're going to ping pong back and forth between studying and charging forward. And by studying, I don't mean sitting there with a textbook, you know, but I am saying that this is a tremendously fantastic time to learn, to take in new ideas, to look at things differently, and then ruminate on that for a little bit, stir, steep. It's like putting a tea bag in hot water. Let it steep, let it become, you know, as rich and as dark as you would like it to be, you know, as filled with that knowledge as you want to be, and then charge forward. Because once you do, once you have this balance, because you're going to want to charge forward, half cocked. And you know where that saying half cocked come from, comes from? Is back in the American Civil War. Right? And yeah, well, it was the muskets, but it was the American Civil War. We used to say, don't go off half cocked, because you used to cock back the barrel of the gun, right? But if you didn't pull it back all the way, the gun would blow up in your face. And that's what you don't want to happen here. You don't want the gun to blow up in your face. You want to be able to move forward in your truth. And that's why the study is important. The knowledge is important. The looking at things is important. Because you're going to be getting a message from spirit and it is going to set you forward. And you're going to be like, aha, uh -huh, there. I got this. I know this. A water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, can very well be helping you. The Magician and the Page of Cups. Magician as above, so below. As you believe it, so it becomes. But this is more than just belief. And this is the essence of your emotions. Because I've read something that has changed my way of seeing things. We are not our thoughts, we are our emotions. And Eckhart Tolle wrote that. So we are not our thoughts, which I always thought, okay? We're our thoughts, we're what we think, we're what we're, what we're thinking. But no, we're what we're feeling. What are you feeling when you're, having, when you're having those thoughts? What are you feeling right now within your life, within yourself? You are your emotions. That's what the cups say here. You are your mind, Aquarius, because you are an Aquarius. You are a air sign energy. Your mind is so important, but your mind is fed by your emotions. So you're going to have, you have this symbiotic relationship, this codependent relationship with your heart. Your mind needs your heart. Think of it as the body. You can't live if your heart doesn't work. So here, you are being a student of what you love, right? But you're also healing. You're, you've been in that holy grail. I see people, not so much as the boy, which sounds funny, but I see when I look at the page of cups, I see the fish. And I see us as the fish. So you've been in this cup. And you've been healing because this is the holy grail. You've been healing. You've been taking care of yourself. And even if you say, oh no, Dane, my life has been, you know, one series of unfortunate events after the other. I haven't had time to take care of me at all. Or my life has just been so crazy that I haven't had time to take care of me at all. Within your career, within your life for your money, for the way that you're moving forward. You're brilliant. You have to know that. That's going to set you forward in your career. Here, there's a healing that needs to happen. Why? Because there has been something that has happened in your life that you're putting an end to now, but it has kept you doubting, fearing, and being apprehensive about where it is that you want to be. Now you're setting yourself free. And what you're doing is you're embracing your heart. You are standing before the altar because here's the magician, here's the druid, standing before the altar which he has given his heart to, he has given his life to. As above, so below. As you think it, so it is. As you feel it, so you become. Embrace your heart. You have before you. Now, gosh, I said you didn't take this gift. I was absolutely wrong. You have the magician card right here. It is on your altar. You take it. You take it and it is yours. You stand there in your finery. 
you're rooted in your success and you set yourself free. The Emperor and the Ace of Pentacles. There's a strength to you that has come because you have fallen. And you might say, Dane, what the heck are you talking about? No person who has truly, no person who is truly strong has lived a perfect life, has known only joy. A person who is truly strong has experienced pain, has experienced sorrow, has felt as if they've been cut to the bone, has had moments where it is hard to breathe, you're so upset, where life feels as if it's falling down on you. And I know we're talking about money and career, but that's what I'm seeing here. Your success is not the fact that everything has always gone right. Your success is because things have gone wrong. They've gone pear-shaped, you have looked at it, gobstopped, mouth open, going, what the heck? That's why people like you. That's why they'll trust you. Because they can see within you, Aquarius, that it hasn't been an easy ride. This card always makes me think of David and Solomon in the Torah in the Old Testament. And what I see when I look at those, those men, they're great men, right? Bran the Blessed in Welsh mythology was a great man. Profoundly flawed and profoundly human. That's what you are. You are profoundly flawed because you are profoundly human. It does not take away from your greatness. It enhances it because you know. You know where people are coming from. You know what your heart and your soul, what it is that needs to be done. And you're going after it with a ferocity. God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, hands you this gift of new beginnings, of new beginnings, of prosper. Yes, no, new beginnings, because it leads to that archway. Okay? You see the sorrow that you have been through. You see the hardships. And now you move to the next phase of your life with prosperity, with wealth, with what you value as much as money. And we're talking about money and career here. So it's your career, it's your wealth, it's the peace of mind, it's the security of self. And you move forward, breaking the chains, breaking the seaweed that is tying you, knowing that you're not caged, taking the blindfold from your eyes, seeing that you're safe, and setting yourself free. You're walking away from something. There's an ending. I see the Eight of Cups as ending as severe as a divorce. It can be a state of mind. It can be a feeling. It can be your job. You don't like it. You don't want to be there. Right? And it's making you feel horrendous inside. Every time you go to work, you come home, and you could eat a pint of ice cream. You could have a glass of wine or five or scotch and just be like, enough is enough. Is that making you, is that letting you live your best life? And you might say, Dane, I have bills to pay. You have bills to pay always. It's a part of life. And I'm not trying to sound harsh here. Though, no, I'm not trying to. I might be, though. If you are staying there because you have bills to pay, but it is eating you up inside, it is breaking your heart, it is tearing you apart, it's time to start looking for something else. Because you will be moving towards what you love, healing. Now, it can be that you're also having a bit of trouble with a Pisces, Scorpio, or a Cancer. And also, I see one really helping you out. So, know that there's going to be two water signs within your life. One's going to be the good water sign, and one's going to be the bad water sign. Calm your emotions. Embrace this healing. Know that you hold the Holy Grail within your hands. Know that you are embracing what you love, what you desire, and where it is that you want to be. Because as you do so, you become a student of what it is that you truly want. And you, break, and you break a pattern that you've been living in for way too long. Because it's time. Your subconscious message? I love it. The Ace of Swords. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Give me a moment here, guys. Okay. The Ace of Swords. This is God's source spirit, however you see the divine universe, handing you a gift of knowing your mind, of courage, of being courageous, 
of strength, of determination, of knowledge, of power, and you absolutely take it. Subconsciously, you know it's time to cut through doubts and fears. You take it here too. So you take it at your root. You take it at your crown. You take this gift of prosperity and knowledge at your root. So here, you are moving towards fantastic things. Fantastic things are coming your way because you're done with the old patterns. And now it's time to embrace your new dawn and your new day. Subconsciously, you know what it is that you need to do. And that's follow your gifts. All right, Aquarius, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. And may harmony always be with you. Bye.